All right, welcome back to your balance diet of entertainment this Monday, um, this um, beautiful um, Wednesday uh, morning. Now, still talking about our population, because in our World Population Day, we know say our population day mostly filled with low income um, earners. Yeah. Uh, now we get for inside Rio Budo, Nigeria. Now, time for us to talk about how to manage your finances, even though, say, the money where you they get from that work where you they do, they very, very small. Enough it even reach you do anything. How you fit actually manage them. And to join us, talk about them, we get the financial expert in the right books concerning how to manage um, your finances. Um, join me, welcome Alex Iena Show. Yeah. Yes, Iena inside Iena the um, studio. Good to have you. Yeah, my pleasure. Yes. My pleasure. Now, looking at our population, uh, they're very filled with a lot of people yeah. where they earn so little. How can people manage with the little way that they get? Well, it begins first of all from your mind. Okay, um, the problem of money is not usually how much you earn. It's a function of how much you get to keep. And how much you get to keep is a function of your mindfulness. One of the problems of finance is that um, a whole lot of people are not really mindful. That is what I call intentional financial mindfulness. And that is your ability to intentionally direct financial decisions and outcomes to your own advantage as a person. So what is happening in the economy is not your business, in quotes, you should have your own personal economy, which you should be responsible to and responsible for, right? So when you earn money, you should be able to know that there are certain adjustments that you can make in your behavior and in your thought patterns to enable you to have something. And the next thing is that um, you should have what I call a saving system, okay? I talk about what I call the money funnel, all right? The money funnel is that just like the top of a funnel, you have income flow. Okay, so you have money coming in. Now, the money coming in, it doesn't matter how many sources or channels it's coming in from, okay? One of that is what happens at the middle of the funnel, which I call your money processing system, all right? So a whole lot of people don't really know what takes money away from them. So many people don't have a budget, all right? So many people don't have a, a, a targeted system that, okay, when the money comes, there's a way they can pattern the money automatically or almost automatically that the money can go somewhere. And then even when the money goes somewhere, Okay, people don't even know what to do with it. Most people you speak with who even say that they have savings. They don't have savings. They have what I call keep aside money. What that means is that you are just, you're just keeping some money. They say we should save. Okay, maybe they save now. But some people go tell you, say, I know they even earn enough for yeah. me to even save. Yeah. So how can they even, now, from now, that 2000 that they now, pay them, now how for, can they for, save? For example, for example, let me use my life as an example. Um, I went through school, okay? I trained myself all through school, and I started businesses from nothing. Now, let me give you a practical example. When I was in the university, I started teaching in 2005, okay? And I was teaching in a place where they were paying me 25 naira per hour. And I wanted to go to school. That was my dream. I wanted to go to university. I wanted to be educated, right? So what was I doing? I was hacking my mind, all right, to save from that 25 naira. And then when I got into the polytechnic, I was teaching and they were paying me 100 naira per hour. How are you saving from 25 naira? 25 naira is because of the fact that sometimes I'll have to trek. No, but how do you take the save? Because save the... Yeah, you, your you, mind. Keep the, you, keep, you keep the money. Like, if they pay you 25 naira per hour, in a month you could make like 1,000 naira. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. In a month you could mm -hmm. accumulate it, right? Mm -hmm. Or 1,500. And so I say, okay, no matter what happens, I'm ready to wear just one clothes. I'm ready to trek. Why? Because as soon as the money is coming, right, I have a mindset that um, I, I need to keep something aside for myself. When I got into the university, I was the one taking care of myself. I was the one paying my bills, right? And I was teaching a place. In fact, the highest money I got as a teacher way back when I was teaching, right, was 500 naira per hour. And I was, I had bills let's, to pay. Let's try and be practical. Right? No, okay. You know what? Let's take it slow. Yeah. Let's try and be practical because yeah. this one in Nigeria, we don't pay by, per hour. Yeah. We pay you at the end of the month. The month. A teacher, if you actually teach for seven days a week, and at the end of the month, they pay you 20,000 naira. Yeah. So let's go with the monthly rather than the hourly because we know they actually pay okay. per hour. Okay. So, so, so this is what happens. Now, when they pay you 20,000 naira, you see, um, we have environmental influences. Okay, so many people's financial decisions are driven not by, own, not by their own decisions, but by what they see outside. That's what is called the Jones effect, right? So you're trying to measure your lifestyle and your success and live and your expenses according to someone else's decisions or someone else's behavior. But so if some, let, let me come in here. Yeah. But in some cases, 
You know, they even leave because the other person they leave large. Yes. You're just trying to survive, and they pay, they pay you twenty thousand. Let's wait, yeah, just 20, relax. Yeah, yeah, they pay you twenty thousand, and you have a child at home, or rather, two kids at home where you need to feed. You get house rent, wahala. Yeah. You get feeding, wahala. You even get transportation, wahala. With that small money where you they earn, how can you not still save from that money? Now, for how long have you been earning the money? That's the question. And for how long do you intend to be at that level? Because Fact, savings is not what will make you wealthy. That's not, that, that can be argued, right? You have to increase, improve your income, then move from income earning to asset building. All right? So let's assume that for the past one year, you've been earning 20,000. It's okay. What are your plans to improve the income, right? I'm a teacher, right? And they pay me 20,000. What can I do? What else can I do? I can do some other things. I can run extra tutorials at home, right? I can run extra tutorials in school. I can write a book in what I teach and sell in school so that I can make more money, I can improve. You must think beyond what you're earning and ask how can I open more income channels. And then when you get income channels, right, the next thing you begin to think of is how can I open what I call asset channels. Why? Because to earn income, you have to use your energy and your time. Okay? And you can't keep using your energy and your time because those things are scarce. So you have to come to a point where you can now creatively have something that can make you money even if you don't work on it. And that's where we talk about assets. So as a person who is earning 20,000, what do you do? Have a plan like in the next 12 months, I should not be earning 20,000 naira. How do you start? By making sure that every month, I will put aside 5,000 naira. If I put aside 5,000 naira every month for 12 months, that is something, right? Mm -hmm. So that next year, I will have something. I can start a provision store, right? I can start selling recharge card in school to my fellow teachers, okay? Or I can start... Creatively involve your mind. I okay. totally like that. So yeah. no matter what you do, they end, try yeah. and look for another way or other means on how to end, even though it's not small, but join them together. Yeah. Thank you so much, Alex and Thank you. And also you get a book online. People yeah, can I have, go and I have read a, it. I have a book called uh, Money Sense. So people can really get the book from my website or people can get the book from my community. I have a community on Facebook. What is it? Please give us the handle. Creation Hub. Creation, Creation Hub. Hub. So just um, check Facebook and type in Creation Hub. You get access to the group and you can find the book at the fire section. And of the can group. they speak to you personally on the Yeah, they can, they can, they okay. can, they can, they can, they can have access to me. All right, so very good one. So if you need help on how to manage your finances, on how to manage the small money we receive every month, um, just follow them on top Facebook, Creation Hub, and it will actually put you on the right step. Once again, thank you for coming thank on the so show. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. All right, now, so you'll be on top of the Good Morning Nigeria show. From all of us on top of the show, we say make you get better. To enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.